Hello everyone! As I've recently switched to Linux, I've had to recreate my entire music production setup on Linux, and one of those steps is setting up Synthesizer V Studio, specifically the second one. And while there were guides and instructions online on how to do it, they are not complete, they're not full, it, they miss some of them missing some parts and I just wanted to collect them all together and make a comprehensive a comprehensive tutorial on how to get your Synthi Studio 2 on your machine to having it running, downloading a voice and getting into the groove of things. So let's get started. Me personally, I am running Fedora 42 with the uh, Linux 6.16.7 Cache OS kernel and uh, so this setup should work for you but it's also transferable to other systems as well so yeah if you have trouble setting it up I hope this tutorial helps so let's get started first of all We'll be using bottles for for this setup. Uh, first, small small setup you're gonna have to do if you are on a clean setup. You're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to want to go to the preferences of the, bo of the bottles. Go to runners and download at least like the most recent uh, Kronchek wine should work for 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 our purposes. The, um, the music VSTs usually want 9.21 Vine, so just keep that in mind. And then you're gonna have to want DXVK and VKD3D Proton um, runners as well. Let's create a new Synth V2 bottle. In custom and let's grab one of them Kronchik vines staging t t uh, TKG wait for the bottle to be created and now that the bottle has been created let's go over its settings so first of all, you're gonna definitely wanna have to enable DXVK. And you're gonna want to have synchronization set to F-Sync. At that point, you should install some dependencies. First of all, .NET 40, or 4.0 in this case, but it shows up as .NET 40. Then, after .NET 40, let's install the fonts. They're like they show up like right here. Then let's install uh, D3D compiler 47 and the Microsoft Foundation platform, Media Foundation platform. There you go. And then the most uh, important dependency of all, uh, WebView 2. Let's run it. Uh, if you get a this, if you get a black screen with your installer, it's easy to fix. Just go into window selection, whatever you use for that, and click on it or Press enter to, to get rid of this small window. You can see like there's a little shadow. It's like a, another window that pop, popped up with the setup for some reason. But never mind that. Now we are in the installer. We'll install where it is. We don't need these. And we don't need a desktop shortcut. Now that we have installed Synthi Studio, let's finish. Let's not run it just yet. Now it shows up 
in the uh, in programs that bottles detects as as runnable. Now we have to switch the Windows version to Windows 7 for um, WebView compatibility reasons. So let's start Synthi Studio 2. Now this is where uh, one of the tricky parts comes in. Um, before clicking login, let's prepare a small script that we will need to get it working, thanks to the Dreamtonics forum users for, 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 for letting us know. I have my script for, for my already existing bottle here, so I'm just gonna copy it because um, it is specifically made for that bottle and we will need to adjust it. We'll open it with a text editor and here we have it. Let me zoom in a little bit. I will provide this command in the description, but honestly, um, you're gonna have to adjust it anyway, because where your uh, where your things are installed is going to be a little bit different to where my things are installed. So first of all, uh, we gotta see where your where your bottle is. And that will be in your, like you can go to browse, browse files of the bottle and go back. And here's your bottle. And this is what gonna be, is gonna be your wine prefix. So you just copy this. And there it is, there's your wine prefix. We'll save that. Then we go to, uh, we go a few, a few levels up to find our runner, which in this case we're using 1015 staging take EG. And this is our runner. And we need to go to bin. And this is where our wine file is, which is, which is what we need. We copy this, um, this path. And we can replace all of this, except for slash wine. I'm gonna have to add slash wine there, but otherwise, this is where it is. Then you don't have to edit the location probably if you install it in the default path, which you probably should. And this is just to return re return the thing back to it, which is the the reference with the uh, with the account authentication. Now that our script is ready, we can close it and actually name it what it's supposed to be called. And now we'll press login and my browser will already have some setups for this, but uh, script is and there it is. And we open it and now it says, oh yeah, right. And then press open link and now it says established in connection to the account and we're in. If you see a white, a white screen like this, then something is not exactly right. But you should, you should, you should, you should be seeing a browser window now or a browser looking window now. But if you see white, we're gonna have to go tinker with a few settings a bit more. Now our next step is gonna be to fix the web view in in our prefix. For that, we will be using a old version of the web view that have that some users have tested and found out that it works under Wine properly. So, but for but it only comes in a cab format, so we will have to extract it and replace it. Let's open in console, and then you're gonna use the utility called cab extract. And then just type out the name of the, of the cab file and press enter. You can install it on Ubuntu or Fedora with your common commands. Um, and once you have the, the cab extracted, you can go in and this is 
That's all, all there is. And you go to your wine prefix now. Program Files x86, Microsoft, Edge Web View, Application, and you rename this to something else, like Backup. And then you drag this folder over here and you rename it with the version that, that we just had. A rename. And there we have it. If you name it anything else, it just won't find it. So unfortunately we have to do that. Next step would be to change to change an environment variable. Let me copy it over from here. Disable the web view from trying to use the GPU, which should help with rendering. And just Hide in there. I'll have it in the in the description as well. And then another step you'll have to do is to go to configuration here down in this section and libraries. I'm gonna have to add some a couple more overrides. First of all. D3D compiler 47, add native built in, then MFplat, add native built in, and then MF read and write, add native built in. That's okay. Now let's go one more time over the settings and yeah, DXVK. VK3D runner and so pretty self-explanatory F-Sync Windows 7 and yeah I think we're good to go let's try running Synthi Studio and check that we've got everything good and we already done the login so the login happens automatically if you see something like this it means it works so yeah, congratulations on having your Synthi Studio working. Uh, let's manage our voices, download a voice, and we'll load. Hopefully sometime this century. I went with 9.0 just because I like him the least, and I needed a voice to test it all out. Wait for the voice to download. And now that we have the voice downloaded, we can try it out. Set it to 9.0. And now it's going to generate it for us. And there we have it. Our working trial mode. Enjoy it for two weeks and decide if you want to buy the whole thing. La, 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 la. So yeah, I hope this tutorial has made it possible for you to run Synthi Studio 2 on your machine. Do let me know if you run into any, any of the issues. I am not sure all the steps I have taken are strictly necessary, but only after taking all of them have I managed to get it running. Maybe it would, maybe it's a little easier on Arch. Maybe it's a little more difficult on Ubuntu. But this is how it is for me. And I just wanted to share that if anyone is running into problems, that they could take all the steps I've laid out and hopefully that will make it work. Thank you for watching. Check out my music if you'd like. Keep on making music.